whenever terms including the term gentrification whenever a new term comes out of nowhere or a slang expression one of the first questions that should be asked where did that come from who originated it somebody says these things right somebody came up with a term called gentrification and then uh, presumably all terms have some type of definition definition yes so sir. you you want the person who came up with the term to give the definition now i recently heard because i'd been asking the question where did black lives matter come from i mean who who were the people who first used this expression uh, these people presumably have names now i, I heard not accurately, because I, I just heard just a part of it on television the other day. Someone actually has done some research, and it seems like it was quick research, and they came, and they found out that it was three ladies. Now, they didn't say whether these ladies were white or non-white, but I presume that they were non-white. They were black ladies, and it was three black ladies somewhere. Mm-hmm. I didn't get their names. I was trying to find a piece of paper and pen to write it down. Yes, sir. But I think that these names are already known. It was three black ladies that came up with this expression, Black Lives Matter. And then it, it spread. And then it became, you know, people start calling it, well, not an organization, because it wasn't, didn't seem to be an organization. It was just a slogan. And then they said, well, it's possibly a movement. But then other people start saying, well, but this movement, and that's when I, it, I, it seems like white people got involved and say, well, a movement is just a movement. What is a real movement without an organization? So maybe it needs to be organized. Now, so this, this thing comes up now. We've got two words on the board now, movement organization. What's the difference between a movement and an organization? Good so you've question. got to watch when these words start creeping into the language. Yes, sir. Because then you have to start asking, wait a minute, where are these words coming from? How did the quote unquote movement suddenly or maybe slowly evolve into something called, well, the movement has to become an organization, and maybe a multitude of organizations. And in these organizations, how are they going to be structured? Are there going to be people who are heads of the organization? Mm -hmm. Is there a head of the movement? And on and on and on. See, I mean, these are the questions that should be asked as this thing progresses on. And because the white supremacists, they study everything in detail, and they always figure, oh, well, now, it looks like these black people are getting something called Black Lives Matter going. What does that mean? Say, well, we'll poke around and kind of find out what it means. We'll ask some of the black people, what do they think it means? And then we will start steering it yes. in the way that we want it to go. Yes. After we get a grasp on what they intend to do with it, if they indeed know what they intend to do with it okay so these are the things these questions should be asked all along anytime these words start appearing you know find out where the words are coming from and get the people who started it that's what i would do that's the legitimate thing to do that's the uh correct thing to do is have the spokespersons who came up with the term Black Lives Matter, Mm -hmm. have them at the forefront of explaining what they meant when they said it. Mm -hmm. Because, logically speaking, this is how it got started. Mm -hmm. So the people who start things, everybody stands by their work. That's right. So when other people start coming in, I mean, on the tail end or in the middle or something like that, some of them with excellent intentions, correct intentions, some of them maybe with not the correct intentions, then you'll be able to spot who it is. Right, right. All right. 